Hello, my name is Eric Lind. I am the Vice President of the Global OEM Division for Lutron. And I'm here today to talk about a new product called the Athena Wireless Node. The Node is a product that brings value to everybody in the chain, from the design team to the contractor, to the OEM installing the technology into their fixtures, as well as to the end user. The node is very small. It can mount in a wide range of fixtures from down lights to troughers, to pendants, cylinders, and even track. And ultimately what it does is it makes the fixture a wirelessly controlled fixture. So now all the contractor has to do is bring power to the fixture and the control is through an antenna on this node. Now this product comes in several varieties. The one I have in my hand is an RF only. So all I'm doing is talking to the control or talking to the fixture. But then we also have a version that has a sensor on it. And in that case, it is both an occupancy or vacancy sensor as well as a daylight sensor. It comes in both white and black. And these versions don't need to be facing into the room. They can be hidden up in the ceiling plenum, whereas the version with the sensor actually needs to be facing into the space. We are working with over 110 lighting companies today, and ultimately we are seeing projects now that we can eliminate control wires, eliminate control gear behind the scenes, and ultimately provide a sustainability story by reducing materials in a building as well as providing for the end user the benefit of flexibility in the future as they repurpose spaces, they will not have to run new control wires. The new feature for this year that we have just introduced is what's called the natural white automation feature. If you connect this to a fixture, and let me show you a driver connection where the node is connected to a driver inside the light fixture and that fixture is capable of what we call tunable white where you've got a range of color temperature the system will automatically change that color throughout the course of the day to mimic daylight very little programming is involved and ultimately what can happen is if a room becomes unoccupied and you come back into that room two hours later, you'll actually have the lights come back on to the level they should be based on time of day. So what we're going to do is show you a demonstration of how this node with this new natural white automation actually operates in a space. And we will actually tie it into our shade automation as well to show both. So, so you can imagine what you're seeing now is the east side of a building. The shades are being deployed to eliminate that direct glare. I've got the warmer light in the morning like I would with a sunrise. As the sun moves across the sky, I can raise my shades to bring in natural daylight without an issue of glare. And then I also have my lighting being a little bit cooler as it's more towards midday. As the day continues to see it gets even warmer, I can bring my shades up even higher, and I end my day with a very warm light. To learn more about the benefits of the Athena Wireless Node, from the simplified design to the simplified installation and this new natural white automation, please go to lutron.com slash Athena.